Welcome to the application delivery how to video series. My name is Sean and today we're going to talk about how to set up headers to determine client IP. So let's jump right into the scenario. We have a client that's going to establish a connection to our virtual service being abbynetworks.felab.in or the IP of 10.206.41.125 on port 443. Once this connection is established to the load balancer, we will then send traffic to a specific pool member. How we do this is we will do a source NAT of that client IP to the interface IP of the AVI, and that in this case it's the AVI service engine. Now why we do that source NAT is because we want to make sure traffic comes back through the load balancer, back through the AVI. If those backend servers have a different default gateway, traffic might be sent directly back to the client if we don't do this source net and we want to make sure that traffic stays through the load balancer. So in this case, those backend servers, since we're doing that source net, don't understand what the real client IP is. So this is what we want to tackle. How we're going to achieve this is since the traffic is layer seven and we're talking HTTP, we can insert a custom header. In our case, those backend servers are expecting an X client IP header, and that will be the client IP 10.21.250.230, which you can see the IP matches up to what the client IP is coming into the load balancer. So let's jump in to the UI and take a look on how we can achieve this. <clears throat> so on the UI, on the AVI controller, we have this AVI Networks dash demo virtual service. I'm going to edit this one. And we want to look to the application profile. In the application profile, we have something called the X forwarded for. What this is, is it's a header insert. And by default, it'll be called X forwarded for, and it inserts that client IP. So we have it built into the product, built into the application profile. The only thing in my case is I need to change the name of the X forwarded for to match what those backend servers are expecting. So they're expecting X client IP. So I just set that name here. I'm going to save this configuration and save the virtual service. <clears throat> and now I want to test it. I want to make sure it's working as expected. So let's jump to our terminal. I've already entered in my trusty curl command and it's against that avi networks.felab.int endpoint, the virtual service. So once I execute this, I get a 200 okay. So since I got a 200 okay, I'm hoping that when I jump back to the logs, I'll see that X client IP and it will be the client coming in, that IP that we saw earlier coming in. So let's take a look at those logs. <clears throat> Back to the controller, I'm going to click Avi Networks Demo, and I want to look at the logs. I'm going to look at the non-significant logs because we saw it was a 200 OK. And here we have it. We have our log entry. I want to look inside. I see the 10.21.250.230 IP address here. Now I want to make sure that header is being inserted. And there it is, X client IP 10.21.250.230. Just by updating the application profile X forwarded for option, I now have that client IP insert with its custom name. Easy as that. I want to thank you for joining me and stay tuned for more of our application delivery how-to videos.